Doodle Bud back again. Look at this sexy red pen that's just so sparkly. This is the Diplomat Excellence A2 in Magma Red. You saw the thumbnail. I said the best damn slip cap there is. Let me just get right into it and show you. I'll try my best in the glam shots to show off this dark candy apple red. It's just such a luscious color. The camera's making it look orange, but it's just a gorgeous red. And look at this little detail on the clip. There's like this little eye drop that's, you know, shape that's cut out. And it's, I don't know how it shows up on camera, but when you look at it from a distance there, that almost looks like it could be like a little ruby or a little jewel inside of there. So just stunning pen. I took it out of the box. It comes in a little plastic, you know, baggie there. Took it out, held it. Oh, that's quite nice. And then when I put the cap back on, it was just perfection. I just went, oh, <laughs> oh. That is super nice. Like it just, mm. it is probably the most satisfying slip cap I've ever encountered on a pen. It is absolute perfection. So just had to get that out of the way. It does post in case you're wondering. So let's, uh, let's show you what this pen is all about. Pen arrived to me. This came to me again from Blesket. Check out Blesket.com. They're a Canadian online retailer of fountain pens and all sorts of other great stuff. And Doodlebud 22 saves you 10%. Why is it 22 if it saves you 10%? The discount code started in 2022. So they uh, they just did it that way to kind of keep track of it. But it comes in this beautiful box. Oh, yeah, and it came the same day when this pen came from them as well. So I actually, I had a two-penner. If you don't know what that is, I have a video all about that. And if you're French-Canadian, it's pronounced Doupanin. So it came in this lovely gift box because it's uh, it's like a gift set. So it comes in here, you got the warranty card, the International Diplomat Guarantee, five years, made in Germany, as they say. Also comes with this gorgeous little bottle, 30 milliliters, since 1922. Again, you've been around that long, you probably know what you're doing. But cute little bottle, 30 milliliters of their Royal Blue, or I guess in German, like is that Kondensblau, Konigs, Konigsblau, I think. I don't know. Someone who's German can tell me how to say it, but Konigsblau, I would say. Uh, that's my best Canadian guess. And I guess the bottle's recyclable or made from recycled plastic. So, yeah, nice royal blue ink. So this is one of those things, like, uh, if you want to get someone a gift, you know, these little sets are kind of cool because right away you get a pen and you get some ink, which is really nice. And then down here, these all came in those little plastic sleeves. Of course, just get those out of the way. Um, this nice little Diplomat branded one pen pouch and we got genuine leather. So, uh, yeah, it's, you can feel it's proper leather. It just slips in there. Let's just put that out of the way. This is the ink I have in the pen right now. So I use that right away. Holds the pen quite nicely. My only little thing with it, like the construction is good. I would just suggest to have the loop, uh, further up because this is the flap here runs the whole length of the body. It's just... It's just quite long and floppy, but <laughs> long and floppy. That's my nickname. Oh my. Um, but the pen can also, because it has such a perfect clip. I don't know what's better, the clip or the cap, but uh, you could just slips over like that. Like this clip is perfect. It just, with perfect effort, it just opens up and slips onto there or even over the front. Like, so again, nice stuff, nice quality leather, little pouch. You got some ink. And then this pen is built phenomenally well. So it's a brass body and a gorgeous lacquer finish on it. Just look at all that sparkle that's going on. I don't have any red pens. I realized this. I think this is my first red pen. So that was kind of cool. And the focus. Let me get you a better angle. Hopefully this works better and stays focused longer. But yeah, the construction on here is nice. Um, this is a little, the pin here is you can, it's actually machined. So I don't know if they can pick it up on the camera, but uh, especially on the other side, you can see the, just the little machine marks on there. So yeah, that's how the pin goes in. You got the base that's inside the body and so that's, it gets pinned on there. So this clip is so nice too. It, you know, it's a mechanical clip, right? So it's not a bendy style. It's got a spring lever in there and you can also push on the back to open it too, which is quite nice. Like when you're going into a pen pouch, and you got to lift it over. It'll do it on its own. But if you want, you can just push the back and slip it over. Or just, you know, effortlessly over a shirt or notebook. So the clip is spot on. The only thing that's not quite spot on 
You see the Diplomat logo here, the Infineal? It's off by a couple degrees. Like it looks like this is at, you know, I don't know, 358 degrees versus straight up and down 360. So that's the only little thing I found on the pen, which is kind of odd. But they got that little finial. I think that looks nice on there. The other side is just the plain plain chrome finial. But the pen, this is just such a gorgeous looking pen. Uh, on the band here, we have Diplomat since 1922. Focus doesn't want to work. Made in Germany. Pop it open with the perfect slip cap. And the nice thing with this pen here is... The, uh, the lacquer on the section. So that is, I'm going to show the Diplomat Arrow in a second. I love that pen. It looks gorgeous. I don't like the section. It it just doesn't work for me. So you actually have some nice grip on here. You know, little step there. It's just smooth. It's not That's not going to bother anybody. This is the mechanism up here that, that clips on to, uh, well, interacts here with the slip cap. And the cap seals perfectly too. You have their Diplomat branded nib on here. It's a number six size. One thing I noticed with the Diplomat pens, it seems they like to have their nibs stick out a little bit further. Sort of, you know, you trim the hedges makes the tree looks taller kind of thing. Um, but yeah, for a number six, it just makes it uh, kind of stand out a little bit more. At least that's my sort of feeling with the Diplomats. They like to have their nibs stick out a little bit more. Let me know if you've noticed that as well. But uh, as far as size goes, I have a big hand. It fits in here well, but I do like to post it. And it does that perfectly too. It's got a cap liner in here, so it's not gonna scratch anything up. And in true fashion, it grabs on three points, which is just like not over constrained, but under focused. That's a better look down on the cap, but you can see those little ridges down there, how it grabs a little end bit there and stops it. And it just seals this up really well. I haven't had any issues with dry out. And that's something that has bothered me with my Diplomat Arrow. I actually had to go and use a different ink, the uh, Private Reserve Infinity inks, because my Arrow would, would dry out all the time. So it's such a lovely pen, but I don't use it too much because the section isn't for me and the dry out. Now I got the new ink in there and it's better, but this pen has been absolutely flawless. I've uh, This is actually normally have my little five pen, uh, sorry, six pen case with me. It was even more portable in my two pen case. I find it for a second, but it was riding shotgun in this two pen case with my Lamy 2000. These are like the two pens I was using all week. I've been using this for, I think it's two weeks now. And uh, out of the box, I put the included ink in it. I did flush it. I flushed it first. Um, but then I filled it up with the ink and this pen hasn't skipped, missed, hard started, dried out, nothing. It has just been absolutely perfect and the smoothness wetness everything is just dialed in so you just get the pen and it works you unscrew the body here and you got a little o-ring in here to help uh, add a little bit of friction so the barrel's not going to come undone you got the diplomat branded converter and this looks like this is uh, not 100 sure to me it looks like it's it's a stainless steel. It could be a, a coated brass. I don't think it is though. That looks like it's stainless steel to me. And then a little closer look up at the section there and the in the feet and whatnot. And in the barrel here, you can see looks like a brass plug that they thread and that gets inserted into the main body. And that looks so nice. This actually, I wonder how this pen would look with gold treatment, you know, because that brass, it's very Christmassy with that the sparkly red. Just a gorgeous pen. So build quality is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'll do a size comparison here. And I uh, got the little scale out too because it's, uh, it's a heavier pen because it's a metal pen. But it's balanced so nice and it just works wonderfully. So I always like to double check things in case there's typos on websites. The weight of the pen with the converter and some ink in there is 47 grams. Let's see if we can do just the body without it rolling away here. We got 28 and a half, let's call it. So that means the cap there is 18.3. I'll give you some dimensions and a size comparison. So the pen, like so, is 139 millimeters. Pop it off the end of the nib to the back of the pen there. That's 129.5 when you post it, about 156. The section is nice and long. It's 25 millimeters long. It has a taper. So starting about 12.2 millimeters down to about 10.2 millimeters. And then the step up here, you see you got a nice 
Nice little chamfer on there. Um, so this body here is 13 and a half millimeters and the cap is 14 millimeters. Sizing up with some other pens in the back, we have the Narwhal Peter Draws Edition, a Monteverde Ritma, the Diplomat Arrow. Now we got the A2 Excellence down here, Lamy 2000 and Montegrappa Elmo. And here we are with the caps off to give you a size comparison as well. So yeah, the Diplomat Arrow, even like the section lengths and all that type of stuff, you can see is very, very, very similar if you're familiar with that pen. For the writing sample, I'm gonna be doing a little more printing because for me, whatever reason with this pen, I've, I've really enjoyed printing with it over writing. It writes lovely. I'll do a few cursive words. But let's just get straight to it. Quickly going to do some markings with some other pens that have finer, extra fine nibs. That way, if you're wondering, it's a stressful thing when ordering a pen is what nib size do you get? That way you can uh, compare against maybe some of these others to let you know how, how this pen writes. So here's the A2 and then a, a Bach number six in fine as well. This ink's a little bit wetter, so it's a little bit thicker, but here's a Bach when a number six, it's 14K fine nib. It's really the same. Graphon Faber Castell in a fine we got the arrow with the extra fine, so diplomat fine versus extra fine, a sailor fine. You know, it's fairly close to the arrow extra fine. Well, that's still a little bit wet. And pelican extra fine, about the same. And then we got the fabric castell fine, so it's all the same. Here they are close up. And uh, yeah, you can see the there's a, that's the extra fine, that's the sailor fine, but all the other fine nibs are like all spot on the same. likes and dislikes likes is everything dislikes is nothing there like i said the only little fault i found was that finial being off a couple degrees but that doesn't impact the pen at all everything about it's great the the how it writes is absolutely spotless like it's absolutely perfect and then you got the most perfect slip cap ever it's so good and it just functions. It hasn't dried out once. It writes wonderfully. It's comfortable uh, compared to that arrow. Again, and this is such a beautiful pen that, you know, there is less of a step down. So for people that bothers you, uh, the section is a little bit wider. It's got the same taper, but yeah, the anodized section, because this is aluminum, I find it way too slick. This just has a lovely grip to it. So I would say probably most people want to write with this pen. Um, without the cap posted i'd see say for most folks even for me it works quite well i don't have to post it sometimes i do it does back weight a little bit but with my hand it doesn't bother me but i could see it being back weighted for other folks but yeah there is nothing wrong with this pen at all it's just really well they hit they made this pen exceptionally well the build quality you know the detail with the clip here it's fantastic those little artistic things construction build performance Let's, uh, yeah, let's talk price. So it comes with this um, little, you know, pen set. Let's call it a gift set. Normally on the Blesket site, this is for 280. It's on for 220. Then Doodlebud 22 saves you 10%. So now we're, what's that? A buck 98 Canadian. That's pretty damn good. The pen on its own uh, will just retail for 179. So we're talking uh, 20 bucks more and you get a bottle of ink and a proper leather little pen pouch. So that's a really good deal. They have it in a few colors in this red and I think uh, there's a yellow or something. And then you can get just the pen, of course. They got lots of colors on there. They had this uh, Marrakesh chrome one that looks fancy. And then they came out with this wave guilloche pattern. Uh, that one sold out so quick. So th that thing looks stunning as well. But yeah, this is, I really like this. Uh, a friend of mine got this a uh, number of years ago. He pretty much bought only very expensive pens, gold nib or nothing and very high end. 
and he was recommended this pen. I think he got it in the green, and that it's a very nice looking green. Just as a regular daily user, very dependable if you don't want to, you know, worry about damaging or losing or just wear and tearing your, your very expensive pens. Take this with you on meetings and travel. And he said he was very happy with it. He was quite impressed. For him, it's like a thousand bucks is the starting point. Um, he was blown away for this pen, and I am too. So even for people who only like high-end pens, you're getting a great pen. And uh, for someone who wants to spend a little bit more, obviously we're getting around 200 bucks. Um, and you're worried about, are you getting a good pen? This thing is, is absolutely fantastic. So yes, I, you know, uh, with this is, I think a couple bucks more, they're, they're really close in price uh, for me personally, I would pick this every day of the week. This looks beautiful, but I have challenges with its sealing. I have to use a special ink in here because for me, it dries up, could be a function because I have extra fine. I've heard other people say they don't have issues with sealing. I do. And then for me, also the section. So, uh, yeah, this is one of those beautiful and really well-made pens that just doesn't get used so much for me. This thing, I can't put it down. So that's it for me. Thanks again to Blasket. Details in the descriptions. Questions, comments, subscribe. Catch you next time.